very warm welcome to the Cross the Heath School, to our new students who are due to start with us in the next academic year. Here we are in front of this amazing historic building. It's been a place of learning and support for children and young people for well over 150 years. And you are about to join us uh, here within this marvellous community. And my colleagues and I are very, very excited to welcome you here when the time comes. Uh, I'm Mr Davis, I'm the Year 7 Progress Leader and along with one of my colleagues, Mr Chesters, we're going to invite you on our virtual tour, so come on in. Hi, uh, my name is Mr Chesters, uh, welcome to our reception, usually there's a smiley receptionist there to help you, this is a visitor entrance, it's not a student entrance, but nevertheless it's where you might get picked up if you have to leave early or if you've got an inquiry or if you've lost something. Sometimes. Anyway, let me show you our, our school values. Um, you see this poster here, you see many of these around school, and this underpins everything we do in school, our school values. Very important here at Cross the Heath. So we've got self-belief, we've got respect, we've got purpose, we've got responsibility, we've got challenge, and we've got aspiration. And, and they really embody what we want to achieve here at Cross the Heath. at school in the morning, particularly before 8.15, which is when uh, classrooms will open. So you come to this door here, students will have a biometrics finger scanner to place their finger on here and that would gain entrance to the building. I've got a badge, so I'll scan that, the door will open and you'll be met and greeted by a lovely smiley member of staff who will take you into the building and you would then go and sit and socialise in our student social area and that's before 8.15. So at break and lunch times you'll probably find that this is one of the main doors that you'll use as well. You can come out of that door and come and join the arena area and meet with your friends at break and lunch times. You can eat, uh, eat some of your food that you might have got from the canteen. If the weather's not great, and let's be honest, sometimes it's not, we've got some canopy areas here. Also around the other side of the building we've got canopy areas where students can still enjoy some fresh air during lunch times while they're having some food. Uh, on the arena area here, what we do ask for is no ball sports because importantly we do have use of the moor down, a little bit further down over that way. Uh, and that's staffed uh, during lunchtime so that you guys can enjoy some fresh air and some exercise before you go back into lessons again. Welcome to the moor. This is where we have our uh, PE games that are outside with the rugby and football and athletics, uh, etc. It's also a great place for us to use at lunch times, especially when the sun is shining. This area will be full of children playing football and rugby or, or sitting around and catching up with their friends. This is the moor gate, this is one of the exits and entrances to our school, so it just leads off into the moor into our, into our school area. So if I take you in this way, and we're going to have a look at, uh, it's, it's called the Sixth Lawn Lawn, uh, but really uh, it's anyone's lawn. It's just a place for our people to sit in the sunshine uh, and relax during uh, the summer months while they have their lunch and break time. So, there's currently a couple of chickens on there as well. This is squirrel territory <laughs> by the way too, so. We just pop up this hill. There you go, at one with nature. In school, also, we have a student leadership program um, starting with our sixth form. We've got our uh, previous head girl and head boy off to, off to university in September, hopefully. Um, and then, lower school, we have our student leaders, and they get to our student leaders' time. A uh, very privileged position, uh, they have to apply and then get interviewed. And our student leaders uh, support um, all our school events and um, activities in school, as well as support our own students. Yeah. So welcome to our pastoral base, it's just along the corridor from the maths area and this is where you'll find it. Pastoral care, support and guidance in our school really is of the utmost importance, it's the bedrock of all that we do here. Um, let me take you and show you inside the office. So it's, it's an open door policy for this office, there's no need to knock, you come straight in if you've got an issue. 
uh, I just want to see progress leader or your pastoral leader. So this is their office, this is a working office, so usually it's very busy, um, but if you need support, if it's just a little thing, like you've lost your timetable, or there's, uh, there's an issue at home, or there's a friendship issue, whatever your problem is in school, this is where you come. So your progress leader, your pastoral leader's here, and we'll do whatever we can to help and support you in school. So, you can see on the, your right hand side, that's our uh, eating area and our canteen area. Uh, this is usually at lunchtime, it's uh, quite busy. As we walk here on the screen from the top, it can tell you what there is to serve on that day and the prices and any other information that you need about the school. Um, so, we normally queue this way. Six farmers would queue that way, we do get a privilege, uh, a senior student privilege, and then we go into the eatery that way. But let me tell you about our house system. So this is our, so this is our house notice board. You see our logos, our fantastic logos, they were designed by uh, some of our current students who won a competition uh, a couple of years ago now. And the house system really is uh, um, fundamental to the culture of the school. So when you arrive, you will be given, and all the staff are too, you'll be given a house. So when you arrive in year 7, year 8, year 9, year 12, you'll be given a house. And we really hope and expect that all our students really take the house system seriously and get involved in events. So here we've got King's House, Queen's House, Savile House and Porter House. You can see I'm wearing some Savile House merchandise. You can get that stuff from our website. There's a link on our website to that. You have uh, hoodies and sportswear, but you've also got things like school bags and lots of our, our students like to show off their house for us. So there's plenty of house events to get involved in. We've got um, house swimming, house drama, house debate, um, house music, um, we have house sports, and there are other stuff that goes on in the house too, as well as like getting merits for your house day in, day out with your academic work, etc. And it all leads to the to a house cup at the end of the end of the year. However, it's not just um, taking part in the house events of why it's so important as being part of the, the competition. We encourage all our students to get involved in the house, even if it's something that they're not particularly strong at because you uh, improve your communication, you improve your teamwork, your organisation skills, you meet new friends. And there are all things that we're trying to build character in the school, going back to our, our values. And uh, when you want to apply for your college or your jobs, it gives you something really uh, to talk about that's evidence based. So when you come into our school and you get given a house, take on the house this thing. Sports Hub, uh, we're in what we call the conference suite here, which uh, 
Can also prepare for lots of purposes. You can bring a partition across, we've got two teaching classrooms. Alternatively, we might have meeting groups in here. There's also music practice sessions going on here. So very much multi-purpose uh, and it's a great facility for us to have. We walk through the door here. We're onto the viewing gallery to our fantastic sports hall. And it really is a fantastic resource for us to have as a PE member of staff. I really do enjoy teaching in here and I know that the students enjoy participating in a number of different activities. It's a fantastic space. We also, in order to cater for the whole school, hold our uh, celebration assemblies at the end of each term in this space and it's a great way to get together as a whole school community. new additions to the school uh, as we needed to expand with growing student numbers and to keep in line with advances in technology and an ever growing modern, uh, modern education system. So we're going to show you around, come on in. We're here in one of the downstairs DT rooms. In this, uh, in this area here you'll have engineering and design technology, resistant materials. We've also got a computer room uh, for students to undertake uh, coursework elements of those GCSEs and uh, obviously for students in Key Stage 3 to have a go at refining some of those important IT skills that are relating to those practical manufacturing subjects. So finally we're through to Mr Barber's classroom, or should I say workshop? Workshop. workshop. So you'll have plenty of opportunity uh, in Key Stage 3 or indeed if you're taking uh, A-levels in design technology to come in and experience what's on offer. So upstairs from our workshops we've got our food and nutrition classroom. Uh, it's a very popular subject at Key Stage 3 and at GCSE. Uh, it's an important subject to help you develop your practical life skills. It's definitely the best smelling classroom in school and sometimes during the day you might see me nip over and uh, run up staff. This is our final stop on our virtual tour in our respective teaching spaces. As you can see there, this is our language centre. It's a new addition to the school, or relatively new addition to the school. Uh, we deliver uh, French, German and Chinese Mandarin classes at uh, Key Stage 3 and Key Stage 4 and beyond. We're now at our newly built sixth form area and for the year 12 students joining us uh, academic year this is a place that you'll get to know very well so come inside and we'll show you around when you arrive to the sixth form center students are signing here very easy just scan your badge uh, and here actually as it happens we've got miss rudman who is our amazing sixth form pastoral leader uh, miss rudman resides in this office uh, most of the time and she's there uh, on hand to help you with anything that might pop up during the day so come on through this is your new common room uh, it's very spacious and obviously different today because normally this is filled with uh, very buoyant and vibrant uh, year 12 and 13 students. There's a little kitchen area just around the corner here that students can use at their leisure as long as it's done responsibly. Upstairs is where we're going to take you now, um, just after we've had a look at our downstairs sixth form teaching area. And a number of, number of subjects are delivered here by members of staff, uh, psychology primarily, but other subjects too. So a new building, new facilities, and it's a fantastic one, uh, and you'll make the very most of that, I'm sure. Upstairs in the sixth form centre, we go up to the sixth form study area. In addition to the downstairs toilet facilities, we've also got upstairs toilet facilities too. Um, the office just to this side of me here is where you'll find your progress leaders, uh, head of sixth form, Mr Doyle, also Mr Schofield who will work in there, and Miss Pennington who will work together as a team to make sure that you are on track with everything you could possibly need. And finally, once again empty today given the situation that we're all facing, uh, this is your, one of your study areas uh, where you can come and uh, just have a, a quiet place to get on with all those important studies. So here we are 
at the Cenotaph and it's the final stop of our virtual tour and all the staff here, Mr Chester and myself, uh, having delivered this virtual tour know that that can in no way go anywhere near replacing the transition events that we were so looking forward to holding and seeing you face to face. What I would encourage you to do is to uh, go onto the school website and keep checking on the, the building content that we're putting up there. What we hope to do is give you as much of a crossing youth experience as we can possibly give you virtually before your arrival in the new school year. For now though, in finishing, I hope you and your family stay safe and well. Goodbye.